Welcome to the next update of our Windsor Community Museum Expansion Project. My name is Yelena Payne and I am the Commissioner of Community Development and Health for the City of Windsor. We are here today in the Francois Bobby House, which is also undergoing some exciting renovations as part of our museum project. The Bobby House is home to our community museum and was constructed by Francois Bobby, a respected politician and businessman. In 1812, construction began on this historic site, but was halted that same year due to the War of 1812. Restoration on the home began in 1948, and in 1958 it opened its doors as the Hiram Walker Historical Museum. The name later changed to Windsor's Community Museum. As part of the renovation, the floors are being refurbished and will have new hardwood flooring throughout the building. We'll also have new carpet and tile. New shelving is being built to exhibit some of our 15,000 artifacts. And this will become the permanent home of the Francophone exhibit and the military exhibit. In order to complete the work and preserve the 15,000 artifacts, the museum will be closed from March 22nd to May 19th, opening after Victoria Day weekend. Let's head over now to 401 Riverside Drive and see what's happening with the new museum expansion. We're at 401 Riverside Drive West and since our last update on our Windsor Community Museum, much work has progressed. Demolition is absolutely complete, the floors have gone in, paint has gone on the walls, and I'm at the south side of the entrance and behind me is our new guest services desk. Down the hallway here, you can see that the floor is being laid, and this will be the hallway leading to our new staff offices and our check area. Now, let's go take a look at our new children's gallery. I'm standing here in our new children's gallery, which is going to be filled with wonderful interactive exhibits for children. Right behind me is eventually going to be a great interactive magnetic table for kids to, to enjoy. We've also got cabinetry that's going to stay for fantastic artifact display and storage. We've had new lighting installed, and as you can see, we've put a great color of paint on the walls to make it exciting, fresh, and vibrant for our future little guests. To my right is the future home of the gift shop for the Windsor Community Museum, and to my left, very exciting is our permanent new exhibit gallery. As you can see, the doors have been removed to create a welcome open space. Walls have come down to create a free-flowing exhibit area, and this amazing new space will tell the story of Windsor. I'm now here in our temporary gallery, and as you can see, if you will recall, we used to have a projector room up top to my right, which has now been removed. We've also had beautiful large doors installed that'll take you from the permanent gallery into our temporary gallery. To my left over here, we've got the cabinet tree that's starting to come in and arrive and be installed. And the most exciting part is right behind me against this wall is eventually going to be a 15 foot screen for projections and entertainment purposes and educational purposes. So this is just a quick sneak peek of our new temporary gallery. I'm at the north end of our building and as you can see there have been significant changes at this end. The stairs that used to take us up to the second floor have been removed and the reason for that is to allow for more exhibit space and better free flow of traffic. To my left is going to be the future home of our Aboriginal exhibit. So that's it for this update of the Windsor Community Museum. Please remember that the art gallery is open on the second and third floor during construction.